Good morning, all of you. I'm here to introduce you basics of the remote sensing, very fundamental things that uh, we need to understand about the remote sensing. So first of all, before starting the remote sensing, we have to define remote sensing. What is the difference between proximate sensing and remote sensing by taking the example of the human being? So here, in case of the human being, uh, we have five sensors, and through the five sensors, we are doing two different kinds of the sensing, proximate sensing and remote sensing. When we touch something and obtain information about the object, that is nothing but the proximate sensing. Now I'll move towards the remote sensing. We are also doing remote sensing through our eyes, nose and ear. And when we see something and without touching to that object, only by seeing that object, we obtain the information. That is nothing but the remote sensing. And by smelling something, we obtain the characteristics of that object. By hearing something, we obtain or we know the information about the object all these are the remote sensing so we are doing both sensing remote sensing and proximate sensing so here we are going to study what is meant by the remote sensing in scientific term so here i am going to define remote sensing it is an art and science of collection of information about an object which is on the earth's surface and that information is collected without touching to that object so why it is known as a art and at the same time it is also known as a science art it required a special skills to interpret the earth surface as we see it from the above because it is the different scenario for the regular people so it is also known as a art because it required skill of the interpretation then why it is known as a science because it is a specially organized knowledge different steps are there and we try to prove the different things by using that steps that that is why it is known as a art and science at the same time now i'm going to discuss fundamentals of the remote sensing especially my focus is over the optical remote sensing there are four major types of the remote sensing optical remote sensing microwave remote sensing thermal remote sensing and hyperspectral remote sensing here my focus is only over the optical remote sensing so what are the fundamental things we required when we doing the optical remote sensing so first of all we required remote sensing system consist of desktop system or laptops and skilled manpower which is also required to process that data and platforms and sensors through which we obtain the data so all these things were included into the remote sensing system and for doing the remote sensing we required source of energy so it is most important thing in case of the optical remote sensing source of energy so for our re optical remote sensing the so main source of the energy is the sun so from the sun we gather the energy we convert it into a signal and we process it so first thing is source of energy then second how the electromagnetic radiation or solar energy penetrated through the atmosphere that is also taken into consideration then third important step is interaction with the earth and the matter on the earth surface so solar energy has different kind of the interactions with the different matters that's why we also need to study that interactions in order to identify object on the ground surface then platforms and the sensors which kind of the platforms are used for which kind of the aerial photography or imaging purposes then what are the sensors that playing very important role and what is mean by the platform and sensors all these are the things we are going to study in the fundamentals of the remote sensing then transmission reception and processing of the data products and how the data products were interpreted and analyzed that also taken into consideration when we look at the fundamentals of the remote sensing and what are the uses or applications of the data are taken into consideration generally it was used by the planners for the planning purpose then geographers physicians environmentalists all they use that data now we are moving towards the explanation of each and every point in the fundamentals of the remote sensing so first one is the source of energy for the optical remote sensing main source of the energy is the sun that's why we are going to discuss it in detail so source of the energy is the sun here and the energy which is coming from the sun is known as electromagnetic radiation so first of all we have to define what is mean by that electromagnetic radiation and why it is known as electromagnetic radiation so generally electromagnetic radiation refers to all energy that moves with the velocity of the light in the harmonic wave pattern a harmonic pattern consists electric and magnetic waves that occur at equal interval in a time 
so all the energy which is from the sun is in the form of the electric waves and magnetic waves all the energy that moves from the sun to the earth surface is in the form of the electromagnetic radiation then electromagnetic spectrum for the better understanding purpose we convert that electromagnetic radiation into a electromagnetic spectrum because of the identification of the different wavelengths and using of that wavelengths for the remote sensing purpose is necessary one that's why we converted that radiation into a spectrum so what is meant by that spectrum so simply it is nothing but the ordering of radiation according to its wavelength its frequency or the energy that ordering is for the understanding purpose electromagnetic radiation have the different wavelengths different energies or different frequencies so on the basis of these three things we order that radiation and we form the spectrum and on the basis of that we choose a specific spectrum for the specific kind of the remote sensing then band so for the better understanding of the electromagnetic spectrum we have to know what is meant by the band a specific wavelength interval at which images are obtained by a remote sensing satellite is called band that is the electromagnetic spectrum for the optical remote sensing our focus is over blue green and red wavelengths which are ranging in between 0.4 micrometer to 0.7 micrometer sometime we also use the portions nearby that area for the optical remote sensing so this is nothing but the ordering of the radiation on the basis of the wavelength frequency and energy so three important things that we have to consider here in order to study the remote sensing shorter the wavelength higher is the frequency and higher is the energy and longer the wavelength lower is the frequency and lower energy so energy which is radiated from the sun is in the form of the short wave radiation that's why the frequency of the solar energy is high as compared to the energy radiated from the earth surface and energy is also high as compared to the energy which is radiated from the earth surface so generally when there is a shorter wavelength greater is the energy and higher is the frequency so when we look at the electromagnetic spectrum from the visible band as the wavelength is reduces then energy is increases so ultraviolet x rays and gamma rays they have higher energy as compared to the infrared microwave and radio waves